emphasis from the coaching staff uh, with the DBs this year compared to last year? It just seems like with Lincoln Riley and the guys on offense, the, the defensive backs, just the changes that you guys have made in the offseason, that's really been one of the big talking points from today. And just what are the differences as, as someone who's been in that room that you've seen? Uh, you know, it's, it's completely different. You know, we brought in a lot of new players as well. It's not just uh, all scheme. So I feel like uh, the the players are are really buying in and stepping up and playing for one another. And um, we're, we're being put in position to make these plays and have the freedom to go out there and play fast. And that's really important, especially in the secondary. So. How, would you, Jamil, how would you grade the tackling this spring relative to maybe last year or even a year ago? <clears throat> uh, it's been better, for sure. We worked a lot of, uh, well, we were very intentional on in our practice tempo, whether it was a thud, whiz, um, live. So I think we've done much better. I think we had some live periods today um, in there somewhere where guys definitely uh, was the first guy to the ball. And I mean, we needed no more no more bodies, you know, because they broke them down. So I think tackling has been much better. And I think that's also a um, component of getting bigger, getting stronger uh, in the weight room this off season. So um, all thanks to Rachel and her staff, and obviously Coach Wiley and his staff as well. Jameer, what's the biggest difference between this year's defensive line and, and last? Um, Henny and Noah. That's all I got to say. Jameer, what was this defensive install like for you guys? I know Coach Lynn said it was going to be really slow and kind of methodical. What was it like going through it this spring? Um, yeah, it was, you know, it was definitely methodical for sure. Um, you know, he, he challenged us. Especially, I know for sure the back end; those guys are so smart back there. Um, you know, the linebackers and on down to the you know defensive line. We have some smart guys all you know all around defense. So he definitely challenged us to um, take in you know some new concepts here and there. But I mean, as far as the scheme, I mean that's a that's a better it's a better question for Coach Riley or Coach Lamb. But we definitely have um, adapted to it well, and you know we appreciate having Coach Lamb here for sure. For any one of you guys, it's What's the confidence that you take away from this game to see the plays that you guys are able to make and just, you know, the, the big stop that you had up there? Uh, <laughs> shoot, uh, that's, that's, what we, that's a standard. That's what we got to do as a defense, to take the ball away, create turnovers, uh, get the ball back to the offense. But uh, today it was the offense we was taking the ball away from. So um, that's a standard, though. Five picks, that's a standard. For any one of you, Coach Riley says that you all are playing with more togetherness and more unity. Uh, compared to last year, what would you say is the biggest difference uh, in, in the interpersonal relationships of the team? Yeah, well, uh, this spring, I feel like uh, we had a lot of people put down their egos. Uh, we really came together as a team, like even without the coaches and really, really bought in to each other. And I feel like throughout this whole entire spring, like whether it be new guys, old guys, young guys, like we all said, we, we're all the same. We just, we have one common goal. Let's, let's get after it every day. And I feel like that's that's been displaying on the field as well. And it's just going to continue to grow over the summer into the fall. Brad Morris, you see played on a defense last year that made a huge improvement. Looking at this defense, what are the biggest signs that an improvement is on the way as you look at this group? Um, we just got to buy into the scheme. Um, I think that's the main thing. Uh, even if the coach uh, calls a bad play, we got to make it right. So everything falls on us as far as um, how the game goes. and even though they might make a bad call or something like that, it falls on us. So really just buying in as a defense and um, buying into the scheme, buying into the uh, plays that's being called and not everyone knowing their role. Bronco, it just felt like the, the cornerbacks, the DBs in general, were just in consistently kind of better position today to, to make plays and also just making one-on-one -on -one plays on the ball in general. What, what have Danton and, and Doug Belk just kind of taught and instilled you guys through, through this spring that you feel like is putting you guys in better positions to make those plays? Well, yeah, you know, we uh, as DBs, we're all together all the time, meeting together and stuff. And so I feel like we're on one page, you know. Uh, I, if I'm at corner, I have faith Kamari's going to be in the back end, and that's going to allow me to play confident and, you know, maybe jump on the route or maybe be more aggressive and attack the ball. And so when it's like that, it's, it's really fun to play defense rather than you having to worry about giving up the big play or giving up something. It's like you're able to go out there and be free and play. So that's been a big thing. Jamil, can you discuss the difference in how you're feeling right now? Of course, still a long way to go, and you guys want to keep improving, but the feeling now compared to the second half of last season when there were a lot of frustrated feelings? It's like night and day, um, you know, but I think that's a huge testament to, uh, first and foremost, God keeping us here, uh, keeping us healthy, allowing us to have this new 
um, you know, rejuvenated defensive staff, having Coach Riley, you know, to have the brains enough to be able to, um, you know, think about us as a defense and continue to, you know, give us the resources necessary for us to be better. Um, and then, you know, I think it just trickles on down to us trusting the process. Um, but, you know, it's, it's definitely a night and day feeling for sure. And like you said, we, we know it's a lot more work to be done. Um, and I say it for myself, but I can, I'm sure I can speak for everybody else. Like, you know, it's, it's almost like today w wasn't good enough because it's like we're, we're hungry. You know, we're hungry for, for more. Um, we're hungry for September 1st for sure. So we'll definitely be ready for that. Jamil, how have you challenged yourself to grow as a leader? And which person or book has had the most influence on that, on that uh, growth? Um, can you ask that one more time? How have you grown as a leader and which person or book has influenced that, that growth as a leader um, since last year? That's a good question. Um, I feel like I've grown a lot as a leader. Um, there's definitely some things I could do better. Um, you know, sometimes uh, I forget, not really forget, but sometimes I, I got to realize my leadership position, um, you know, when it comes to learning how to handle certain situations or certain, you know, people. And I think, you know, it's definitely been a lot of books I've read that have, that has helped, but I mean, two people for sure is my, my mom and dad. Um, you know, having them present in my life, having them be able to, you know, challenge me before I would ever be challenged by anybody here, um, I think that's definitely helped for sure. Jamil, you, you said a few weeks ago, you know, the last year, kind of the, the weight size deficiency at times was, was, you know, the elephant in the room that you guys knew needed to be corrected. And now a few weeks, you know, into spring, you, you see some of the physical transformation. You see today, you know, the gaps in the run game being plugged up, a lot more pressure on, on the quarterback. Just, just how has that evolved and allowed you guys on the defensive line to play with more kind of confidence? Yeah, yeah. We, you know, we, we, we hear, we hear, you know, we, we try to block the noise out, but I, I think that it would be very cliche for you know someone to say to to don't listen to the noise because I think at, at some point you know you gotta realize like at the end of the day you you know you lace it up just like the person across from you laces it up and I know me and I know the rest of the defense um, the whole too small comments and this and that I mean it's a pain you know but we we definitely take it with a grain of salt and we choose to take that as a challenge and get better um, and that's what we've done like I said a huge testament to Coach Riley giving us the resources to allow us to be better as a defense. Um, you know, us as players have just bought in. Um, Coach uh, Wiley has definitely gotten us, I mean, on a nice plan. Uh, Rachel, obviously. So it's, it's definitely took a, it's definitely taken a village. And um, like I said, we're excited to continue to get better. Let's do one more. Come on, have you ever taken one 100 before? Uh, have you ever taken one 100 yards before? Ah, uh, I probably ran that long since my high school days at running back. So <laughs> yeah, nah, I was definitely gassed after that play, you know, but. That is a conditioning program. No, nah, yeah, long. yeah. Uh, I hit 21 miles on that, so that's that off season speed work, so <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs>